You probably heard the saying, if you're looking, it ain't cooking a thousand times before, but is it actually true? My name is Marcus and every week I run a barbecue experiment here in my garden to help you level up your barbecue game. And today I'm testing whether the saying, if you're looking, it ain't cooking, is true or not by seeing what actually happens to the temperature when we open up the lid. So the theory behind why this might be true is pretty straightforward. When we open the lid, heat escapes and it might take 15, 20 minutes to get back to the same temperature. But that assumes that what's cooking the food is convection heat from the air, which may or may not be true. In barbecue, we use a lot of different types of heat simultaneously. We're using conduction heat from the grill grates, radiation heat from whatever it is we're cooking, whether it's gas, charcoal or wood. We're using convection heat not just from the air, but also from the food itself. So the question really is how much of what's cooking the food is the convection heat from the air and is a sudden drop in temperature enough to change the cooking time? Let's find out. To test this, I've got a pork shoulder that's been on the smoker for about four hours. We're rocking around 60 degrees internal temperature, 107 Celsius ambient temperature. And in a moment, I'm gonna open up the lid for one minute and we're gonna see what happens to both the internal and the ambient temperature. And I've also set up a thermal imaging camera so we can hopefully visualize what actually happens to the heat when we open the lid. Okay, time to look at the results. So when I opened the lid, I was measuring the temperature in three different ways. We had the fireboard set up with internal and ambient temperature probes. We had the thermal imaging camera, and I also had a meter two plus in the pork shoulder as well. The reason I use this as well as the fireboard is I really like the analytics on the fireboard, but it only measures the temperature at a single point. Whereas one thing I really like about the meter two plus is it measures the temperature along five different points of the probe. So you can see what's going on both in the right in the center of me as well as close to the surface, which could be interesting for this experiment. So I'm gonna start with the thermal imaging camera. Unfortunately, this wasn't quite as dramatic as I was hoping. I thought we would see a visual change in the temperature and you'd sort of see opening the lid, the temperature of the smoke would suddenly drop. But you can't really see that. You can see the hot air does escape and the bottom of the smoker remains fairly stable temperature wise, but it's not quite as dramatic as I was hoping. So let's now have a look at the fireboard data. So this was very really interesting. You can see the moment that I open the lid, the ambient temperature of the smoker suddenly drops from about 115 degrees Celsius to about 75 degrees, but the internal temperature of the pork remains basically the same. I repeated this test two or three times throughout the cook and the same result happened. But things get interesting when we look at the data from the meter. So unfortunately, meter don't let you see a time series graph of the temperature for each of the five probes. But I got this video on my phone where you can see what's happening when I open the lid is that the temperature right in the center of the pork remains basically the same, if not continues to cook. Whereas the temperature towards the surface of the meat does start to drop a little bit. So what does this mean? Well, the saying, if you're looking, it's not cooking, kind of depends a bit on what you're cooking. If you've got a large cut like brisket or Boston butt, or pork shoulder, then it's very unlikely that opening the lid is gonna have any major impact on the overall cooking time. Perhaps with a smaller cut like ribs, where the distance between the surface and the center of the meat is much smaller, it might have a bit of an impact, but again, I'm not convinced it's gonna have a major impact on the overall cooking time. So for this one, I'm gonna say, if you're looking, it's not cooking, is false. So if you have any ideas for barbecue myths or experiments you'd like to see, drop them in the comments below, I'll reply to all the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and click on the screen and I'll see you in the next experiment.